Hey guys, it's Lisa here in the studio. This is week three that I've been working on this deer and I'm getting ready to lay in the eyes. And so I thought I would stop and shoot a little video and show you my process here. So I've laid these eyes in two different ways. This is what I love about collage is that these papers are just taped down right now, but I can put them side by side and make decisions based on the paper color or the value of the paper and the placement of the paper. So let me show you a few things here, starting with, I guess, the white of the eye. So in this one, there's just a tiny bit showing, and this one, oops, <laughs> okay, that was my underlid. This one has more showing. So I've decided that I like this one better. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of the white there. Now the pupil, in, in these deer, this is a red deer. Their, their pupils actually look like this. They're kind of a, a rounded rectangle here. This is what their pupils actually look like. I'm gonna take a little bit of artistic license here though and do it more like a typical eyeball with this rounded pupil here. I just, I can't, I'm looking at this and looking at it and I just don't like it as much as this one here. So I'm gonna go with this one. Now the next thing I want to show you is this eyelid, and on this side I chose this lighter paper. This is a separate sheet of paper, separate piece of paper right here. And on this side I up the value a little bit so it's a little bit darker and I think it makes a big difference. This really, I think this blends into this which is supposed to be his um, skeletal, like his brow ridge of a skeleton. So I'm gonna go with this paper on this side. And then for this top part here, I was playing with the placement as far as how high this arch is. This one is a little more flat, and this one has a little bit more arch to it. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. And then the last thing I want you to notice is this strip of black here that finishes out his eyeliner. I call this the eyeliner. And a lot of animals, they have this really dark outline around their eyes, and you can see the difference from this eye to this eye. When you don't put that black strip in, it just doesn't look like it's finished to me. So all in all, oh, and one more thing here. This ridge here has three separate sheets of paper. So there's this matte page, this paper with a little blue texture on it, and then this paper. And on this side, it's only this background paper. So I like all this visual interest going on here. This line right here, this blue line of the map, we talked about the visual flow last week. It's pointing your eye around. It's telling your eye, look around this way. Stay in this area right here, this circular pattern. So you can use your papers to direct people's eye where they need to focus. Okay, so this is, all in all, this is 11 different pieces of paper to make this one eye, okay? So I'm going to uh, deconstruct it and glue it down for you so you can see what it actually looks like when it's glued down. Okay, let's do it. So we're back down to the first layer of the eyes, and I was going to show you a quick trick to check your symmetry of your eyes. Now, not all eyes are symmetrical by any means, depending on the way the face is turned, but these particular eyes are. So what I'm going to do is measure from this, um, this line of his nose to the corner of his eye here and then outside of the eye to outside of the face and I'm going to use this little skewer to do it. So I'm going to check from here to here and put my thumb right there and then check the other side. Okay, so that's pretty good. So both from here to the corner of the eye is this distance and it's about the same there. It's close enough, I think, maybe just a tad bit off. And your other measurement is from the outside of the eye to the outside of the face here. And we'll check it on this side. Okay, so that's pretty good. Another thing that you can do, and I don't know why this happens, but if you lay in your eyes, especially this first layer that you want to be symmetrical, shoot it with your cell phone. There's something about seeing a picture on your cell phone that immediately triggers you and lets you know if your eyes are off. Somehow it's different from just looking at it. I stared at this thing for a while 
and it looked fine but then I took a picture and immediately you can see when one of them is a little bit higher or lower than the other so that's another thing that you can do if you want to check to make sure your eyes are symmetrical okay so that's the first layer this is his little eyeliner as I like to call it uh, let me see so what we're gonna do is start to put this background paper in this is the bridge paper the transition paper from his brow back into this fur. All right, and then we can finish laying this little piece down here. Okay, now we're gonna put the white of the eye in, which I'm gonna push because I just wanted a tiny bit to show, if I remember. Check that against the iris. Okay, so I think that looks good. Just a little bit of white showing. So we'll finish to glue, finish gluing that down. Remember, it's always glue under and over each piece. Iris. Pupil. Now we're going to finish off his brow ridge up here. And I remembered that I want it to be a little arched. This third piece, this is still the arch, working into the arch of his eye. And now the lid, which goes actually over the eye. This is important in the placement. Your, your eyelid actually does cover up part of the iris and your pupil, so you don't want to put it too high. I'm going to cover up part of the eye. Let that come around. It's a little bit too long, so I'll tear it. All right, now she gets her eyeliner. often have these long lashes coming off of their eyes. Okay. And the highlight. Or the reflection. So I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go in with just a little bit of paint and darken his iris where it would have a little shadow from his lid. And I had a piece of paper down here for his lower lid that I, I thought was too dark, but I think I'm going to try to hit it with just a little bit of paint right under here just to pull in a tiny bit of shadow for his lower lid too. Okay, so let's do that. This is raw umber. It's pretty dark with a tiny little brush. This is probably a zero or a one here. Just gonna drag it to blend it out. doesn't take much at all. And 
then what the this is Quinn Quinacridone Azo Gold. I'm gonna shadow up here a little bit to accentuate that brow even more. So I'm gonna put in the paint and then just feather it out until it blends in. And I'm going to do just a tiny bit underneath too. Let me get that. Put just a little bit of water on the tip of my brush here. Same thing. I'm going to paint it on real lightly and then just feather it out. I laid the other eye in and then I made a few little changes. I have this paper here. It's made out of fibers that are like all pasted together. So when you tear it, you get all these little strings. And since the eyes were so dark, I went in and put, I had black lashes first, but I tore this paper. I put in white lashes. I put a highlight here. I put a little highlight here to separate the pupil from the iris and then I put in just a teeny tiny bit of blue down here and I think because everything was so dark all these highlights really make the eyes pop now. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those little tips. Take what you need and leave the rest. I'm Lisa. Follow me on Instagram at a pinch of wonderful. Happy creating, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.